Guardian of the abyss, all is ready. Bring the girl, look at me. I command you, you are an empty chalice. Empty, a zero, no fault, no will. Waiting only, my lord, Carosalon. Empty, empty, empty. Look at the glass. Look, look, glaze into its depths deeper. What do you see? Something is there. Sagoras. Sagoras, Demonus, Sagoras, cover it. Cover the glass. 1517. I bid. Is against you, madam, in the front. Can I say 20, 25, 28? Anyone make it 30? Thank you, sir. 30, I am bid. It's against you, madam. Hi. Did you get the table? And the four chairs, my horoscope was right. I told you it was going to be like my lucky day. You and your horoscope, twice done. But thirty pound to Mr. Edwards. Thank you. If you finish, you may as well go. It's only rubbish now. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Containing items for the late Earl's Den. The wicked Earl, think the press used to call him. They say he held all orgies in the orangery. They say anything to increase their circulation. Never know what might be in there. One tennis racket broken. One skate assorted. Books worthless. Well, according to my horoscope, well, come on. Well, I just got a feeling. Let's see what that what's there is, Alice. You looked. The rest seems to be books. I just peeked. I didn't claim to have second sight. Typical, typical cancer. Pure baptism. Well, were you born? 25th of June. Well, that's even worse. Right on the cups. The Gemini, no wonder you're the way you are. Ladies and gentlemen, what shall we say here? Five, for the lot, four pound, three pound? Fifty, three pound, fifty, I'm bid, three pound, fifty. You must be mad, I'm just following my horoscope. A three pound, fifty, then to Miss Stevens, useless. We must start again, try again. My Lord Cassanodon is close. The time is near, no, no, please begin the preparation. I see you've got the take your table. Oh, hello, Simon. Yes, I've got a customer. It's just what he's looking for. The lucky dip. Shall I bung it in the back? Yes, please. Do you know Simon Andrews? Hi, Miss Mike Roberts. Hello. And Seward. Just my luck. Let me see. It was quite a pretty frame. Look, I mean, I'll give you a fiver for it. A fiver? I told you it was my lucky day. Mike, may I have a look at it? What? Thanks. So there's some writing on it. Scratches, I would imagine. No. Some kind of symbols. Never seen anything like it. I'll give you 50 for it. 50? Then we make have a deal. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. How could it suddenly have been worth 10 times we offered me for it the first time? Please. Where are you, Laura? I'll get this appraised. I'll have it done for you. If you like. Mr. Andrews still wants 50 quid. We have a deal, remember? No, we don't. You're right, Miss Mike. Could you be appraised? Yes, Mr. Master, Master. Alison's gone, find her. Don't let her get away. Search the drive. Search the path. This way. There she is. She's gone this way. Thanks, Mike. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, darling. Oh, you better have this. Oh, yeah. It's get appraised tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye. I'll give you 250 for it. You can tell her you only, you can tell her you only want 100 for it. If you like, no one's going to complain if you make a little profit to yourself. Well, I'm tempted, good, to wrap it round your neck. What the hell are you doing? There are some people after me. Some, please help me, please get in. What are you running away from? Some people want to help me to do something. I don't want to do. Where you want to go? I don't know. Anywhere. Where are you going? Answer, Ham. That's fine. Where did you get this? A friend of mine bought it in a sale. Do you mind? No, wake up. Huh? Where is it? Where? This is where I live. Would you like to come to, for a drink? Okay, it's nice, it's nice. Yes, ever since my divorce. Right, what would you like then? Brandy, gin? Brandy would be fine, thanks. Right, I don't know your name. Alison lives early. Is that French? No. Way back, I think my family were Halogots. Uh, what do you, what do you know? What do you do? I would sport antiques. I collect military figures, medals, you know, that kind of thing. There we are. Cheers. Cheers. So you are. So you were trying to avoid. So who were you trying to avoid back there? Oh, just some people. Well, why don't you tell me about it? 
believe me, you're better not of not knowing. Anyway, I'm not sure I understand myself. It seems to fascinate you, that mirror thing. It's a scoring glass. What's that? Something like crystal ball. Oh, this one's very old. How do you know such power? Never felt such power. Perhaps it's original. What What original? Made of the, by these six. Dr. D himself. What? Dr. G, the astrologer? Astrologer, alchemist, mathematician, 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 magician. He used a glass like this to experiments. A man named Kelly, Kelly. What? To, do, to foretell the future? Not exactly. Look, I know people will give a lot for this. If you want, I want, if you want to sell it. Who? The cult group. The Chisonian society. They are the people who you run away from. Could I have some water and a bit of brandy, please? Yes, I don't think I've ever heard of the Kersonian Society. Where they have their headquarters, Alison? Alison, damn it. Alison, what do you mean the mirror has vanished? You took it with her. That's what you mean. All right, but I'm calling the police. If I'm not, it's not going to help. It might get it back. That would help. You told me yourself to creep some in Andrews of your 250 for it. Yes, it would be worth more than that. Oh, well, there's some more reason for calling the police then. Laura, she's in trouble. Too right, she's in trouble. She nicked something that belonged to me. I wouldn't even let an old customer get away with that. Why should I get, let your fancy woman rip me off? She's not my fancy woman. You could have fooled me. She's pretty. She's pretty, I'm sure. So, I suppose so, yeah. Then we're like, what's her birth sign? I don't know. I didn't ask her. Typical. I bet she's a Scorpio Pisces. I'm telling you, she's in, she's in trouble. Have you heard of Dr. D? John D? John D, the Elizabethan astrologer? Yes. He said it was glass made. Man, glass must have belonged to him. Really? Well, no wonder well, everyone wants it after it. Well, it'd be worth a uh, hell a lot more than 250 then. We'll go, go to the police, will you? All right. You get the mirror back, Michael. You're marvellous. Do you know that? Do you? Good morning. Hello. Can I help? Oh, yes, I'm looking for a mirror, shaped like this dark glass, a metal frame. I ornamented with characters of some kind. I think it might be Elizabethan. We have nothing like that, I'm afraid. Oh, you sure? Yes, it's funny because Mr. Andrew said we had one. Well, I don't know where. I thought I, I knew all the stuff. I'll ask him. He's in his office at the back. I'll find him. No, you can't go. You've got lovely green eyes. I'm a sucker for green eyes. Hi. What were you thinking of going? Where to where you what? Where are you thinking of going to them but our cell? Well yes, I was actually. I wouldn't bother if I were you. Oh Lambert sold off the best stuff to his fourth wife. Wouldn't inherit it. So there were one or two items. Any nice sparring glasses? So you know. Well, my offer still stands. In fact, I may be able to persuade my client to go above two fifty. Perhaps some another hundred. Oh, I would have thought Dr. D, John D's original skying grass was worth a lot more than that. All right, how much do you want? A thousand, a thousand? I just have to speak to my client. Will they be the Chisonian Society? They are my clients. Can you tell them I haven't got the glass? Where is it? You can also tell them I want to be, I want it valued before I sell for a thousand. Did you find Mrs. Andrews all right? Yes, thank you. And something you forgot to give you. I don't, I couldn't bother him now. He's on the phone. Perhaps you could help me. You're going to give me a dress for the Concernian Society. I don't think I have it here. Elmo, I'll be in my office. Oh, don't bother him. Oh, I forgot, forgot the name of the fellow that runs the Concernian thing. Oh, well, it'll be Rand, Mr. Randolph. Oh, yes. Of course, yes. Miles Randolph. Yes. Lives in Wiltshire somewhere, I think. Thank you. Being... Clearly been favourable for the rising of Chosavon, the mighty devil Chosavon. Holy hell is Chosavon, according to the book Chosavon, the god in the abyss, the devil's doorkeeper. Sort of, yeah, John D was after big game, no witches or broomsticks for him. Well, why did he use the glass? What did he use the glass for? Well, D implied that I should meet him called, I would be, would you believe, Kelly? Kel, Kel, look at Now, Kelly would go into trance, look in the spying glass, tell Dee what he saw there. Well, what did he see? It's very odd. He saw writing. 
Yes, writing is a strange kind of language called an escotain. Yes, it was a series of invocations, calls to Trezazon, among others. Has anyone else tried calling? Yes, lots. This century two, 1909, Alistair Crawley and Victor Nuremberg invoked Trezazon. Result, Nuremberg was a nervous breakdown. 1920, Charlie tried again. Total disaster. To his group went mad. One died. About 1935, the Furrell group had a go. They were a German cult society. They went wrong, and it went wrong every time. Yeah, there was a couple of major problems. It was with the ritual. Now to incarnate Chosen in human form, the chosen human subject must be born as solace and must be go willingly. In fact, the book says eagerly, the place of invocation. Eagerly? Uh, eagerly? They must have they must have in their position a spying glass, an empty glass, chalice, no fault, no will, empty, empty, look in the glass, into the glass, into the glass, gaze in the depths, gaze in the depths, Alison, that's there, uh, seek, seek, uh, I brought her back, help me, Michael, help, you must help me, they're after me, I know who they are, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, they're after spying glass too, why did you bring it back, because it's not safe in me, or else I'm not safe with it, I don't know. Been walking around for day all day, trying to decide what to do. Why do they? Why do they need you for the ritual? What the Christian ritual? You know about it? I thought the chosen one had to go eagerly. They can rearrange that. They could do anything. Come on! Don't you know the power of positive evil? Why do they need a spying glass? Do you know that? Because the only way is into the abyss. Oh, are you cold? Somebody just walked over my grave. I've put the fire on you. No, don't bother. I put on the fire for you. No, don't bother. So how did you get involved through a woman? I made a party to astrologer. She's a friend of hers. Charles Randolph. I was good, looking for people with my birth time. So she joined the Christian Society. Well, we've always been interested in the cult. It was all right at first, until Charles Randolph started hypnotizing me. Wise. He said, I've got me majestic powers. This was a way to develop them. I started having these dreams. What dreams? The same one, really. More like a nightmare. I had to go down this huge, dark pit. Every time I'd go deeper and deeper, something there. I didn't know what, but I knew it was evil. Utterly evil. Ah, oh, Charles Randolph told me. I was imagining things. He said it was just me going deeper and deeper into myself. Perhaps he was right. Perhaps it was evil in me. Rubbish. Anyone who helps with washing up can't be all that bad. Now I take it, now it will take its own course. Shall I prepare for sacrifice? Yes. For midnight. Alice and Alice and Mike, it's all right. It's okay, Mr. Roberts. Yes. My name's Charles Rob- Randolph. May I come in? Lovely place you've got here. I do love all these old houses. Ah, collector. Duke of Cumberland's folk guards. Hmm? Magnificent. I surely didn't come here to admire my collection, Mr. Randolph. No. I came to warn you. Warn me? May I? What do you want to warn me about? A landlady called Anderson Leslie. Now, Mr. Roberts, before you deny your knowledge of her, let me say that you seen, you were seen getting into your car. I really am very worried about her. You, me, why? A girl could be dangerous, violent even. Mr. Roberts, Anderson is a very disturbing woman with very strange ideas. So the society doesn't seem to have helped much. She told you about it, did she? Well, I expect that sounds a little weird to you. But I assure you, oh, you that, that is a perfectly innocent, that small historical society. I thought introducing us in society would give her an outside interest to the degree of mental stimulus, our own way, our very own, what, very real, from our own, our own very real, Psychological problems. Unfortunately, it seems to have missed some of the stimulated her. What do you say? What psychological problems? For the paranoia, Mr. Wilberts. She sees herself all the time as an object of conspiracy. Offers you wine. Would you, would you like a glass of wine? Thank you, Paul Ellison. I really am very worried about her. There's no telling what she might do. She's mis-disturbed, as you say she is. 
Don't you think she ought to be see a psychiatrist? So if you only turn to my fringe medicine after they've been tied to everything else. So you're saying she's been a, seeing psychiatrists, analysts, psychotherapists, neurologists, God knows what. A little dry bread, thank you. Would you like some bread with that, please? More Ellison. Been through and rather lot lately, I'm afraid. Miss Roberts, a little salt with the bread. Thank you so much, Mrs. Roberts. Michael, what do you think you're doing? What? Didn't you know you must never give a black musician bread or wine or salt in their own house? I told you, Mr. Roberts. Don't you realise we've got you half hypnotised? Get out. What about you, my dear? You're the chosen one. The time approaches. Get out. My friend, you don't know what you're involved in. The centuries all the mad guy. All the Greek occultists trying to work the Cossillian ritual. None has succeeded, not till now. Now the time is right. I shall prove myself the greatest of them all. Get out. It's too late, my friend. Alison is mine. Perhaps he's right. Rubbish. They seem to have some kind of control over me. That's why I'm calling in. The New South Wales Cavalry. What? An Australian mind of mine. Australian friend of mine. She'll look after you. She's got a little nerve. Ask me to take your fancy piece in. She's in a lot of trouble. So you keep saying, what sort of trouble? I'm not pregnant. Is that what you mean? I wasn't, but there was, there, but thanks for setting my mind at rest, please. Of course not. No good, Michael. The New South Police, Wales Recovery. I ain't going to ride to my rescue. I need, I, you can't blame. Thanks, I've ever signed, if you don't mind. What's your birth sign? What? When were you born? December the 21st. A lousy cup of call, I knew it. Okay, you can stay. Laura, I knew it, I know. A marvellous buy. I ought to warn you that there are three house rules if you stay here. What? At the first part of the morning, you stay, you don't use my perfume, and you wash your own knickers. There was a phone message for you, Laura Stevens. Think of a mirror, what about it? You say she's willing to sell. Do you have the mirror here? It's not a mirror, it's a sighing glass. Quite a valuable one. My client was authorised me to pay in any sum within reason, £1,500. £1,500? write the check out now. I assume it's yours to sell. Yes, of course, to tell you the truth. Glad to get rid of it. Brought me nothing but trouble, Alison. Where's the mirror thing I brought with you, for with you? Tell him to go, Simon. But I just sold it to him. Well, come on. Where is it? You know, you don't know what you're doing. Laura, Alison, 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 Michael. Come on now. Tell me what happened. Your precious girlfriend crowned me with a Japanese lamp. Alison did? Sixty quid worth. Are you sure it was Alison? Well, of course I'm sure. Look. Real blood, it must have been that Alice Andrews character. I knew it hit me, for God's sake. I got some water I got some water to clear it up for you. How did she know know that she was there here? How did you know she was here? I sold her the glass thing. It was mine to sell, one thousand five hundred pound. Well you don't think I'd tell him where Alison was to, do you? You didn't have to. He knew she be where the sighing glass was. Where are you going? I'm bleeding to death here. Call the members of Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. Mr. Andrews isn't here, um, I know. Where is the, he's gone. Wiltshire, I think. Where is that me? I don't know. What are you doing? Can't do that. That's his stress spot. Look, sit down. Shut up, darling, will you write? Ah, 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 yes. Here we are. Charles Randolph. Well, Westborough, Bowen Hall, Westborough, Wiltshire, the Chazillian Society. Yes, Miss Andrews has been a member for years. Ah, well, didn't you know? No, I didn't. Master, prepare her. Master, go is ready. Alison, Alison. Michael, I've been so worried. I'm afraid you wouldn't come here in time. Are you all right? You weren't hurt. Of course not, darling. Come on. What are you doing? They didn't know you're here. Go, will you? Let's go, will you? Let go. What are you doing, darling? You, you really have, you really have saved my life. Have you got, have you got here? I would have been the chosen one. He was born in the solace, midnight, June the 20th. He came eagerly at the place of evocation. Eagerly? He came to rescue me. Yes, good. Always according to the ritual, my Lord Cassidian accepted his sacrifice, sacrifice. What is it absurd, Alison? Master, may I beg you? You've done well, my friend. Alison? Zidoros. Zidoros? No. Zidoros? No. Ah, Master. 
You're done well, my servants, almighty, you settled on. So, almighty, settled on.